A live look over the city of Marquette. Compared to yesterday, you will notice a difference. Snow is not flying across the screen from left to right or right to left. Instead, across the area, the piles are beginning to melt. After today, temperatures will rise and the significant snowfall western Marquette County, Alger and Barriga counties received will already start to melt. Now this time last year, if you remember, a snowstorm followed by rapid melting caused widespread flooding and emergency declarations for eight UP counties. We decided to check in with the National Weather Service and emergency management coordinators to see if that's a concern again this time. TV6's Tristan Kendrick tells us what they have to say and how you can prepare. While half of the UP saw damaging floods due to rapidly melting snow in April of last year, Marquette County Emergency Manager Brian Hummel says that's not likely this time around. He says flooding may be a concern every year, but the chances this year are low. Across the board, we have a lot of capacity in our waterways uh, to accommodate any runoff from this melting snow. Uh, and then we also have seen pretty dry conditions leading up to this point as well as very little frost in the ground so there's quite a bit of capacity to, to take on any runoff or melt from the snow. But if you're still worried he has some tips to avoid flooding in your home. If you're snow blowing don't blow it up against the side of your house you could blow it out into your yard make sure that your gutters are clean uh, and that there's a spot within your yard for that water to flow to. Meanwhile Lieutenant Sam Grahovac with the Elger County Sheriff's Department says his county has been watching closely and he is also not concerned this year. We've been monitoring uh, levels of the rivers in our county. Due to the lack of snowfall, it has been very low water levels this year so far. In fact, here at the National Weather Service, meteorologist Matt Zika says as the snow melts over the next few weeks across the UP, we will actually have optimal conditions. With temperatures in the 40s during the day and overnight lows down near freezing, we actually need the water based off the deficits that we ran from this past winter with snowfall and actually liquid precipitation. Zika says this year's mild winter could postpone fire season, but he's not expecting any significant amounts of snow for the rest of the year. Tristan Kendrick, TV6 News.